Which, where? Oh, this? Thank you. There you go. Hey! Pull on that one. Gently. You're good. <laughs> guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 12.05 hours on Tuesday, November 4th, 2014. Today's program is brought to you by Edgar and his luscious cable running. I'm feeling so high right now, man. So, uh, what you doing? I'm running a video feed to put TGG, I'm sorry, uh, to put MDH3 in the corner there so we can see this area by the jet cage. Okay, where's this feed running from? It is running from the cable down there. Really? That goes no. to TG. No. No. Can't do that. There's already video feeds there. Yeah, there's three of them there. You see that hole in the wall where all the you see the come You out? see the hole up there? Yeah. Yeah, you can use that. That goes right You can't use control. those. Yeah. I thought that panel would have. It does, but that's not six feeds, it's only three. And those are three dedicated feeds for when we absolutely have to just run up and jam a camera in and get it right into master okay. control. Well, it's only three feeds, cable. the other three are Genlock. I've got a hundred foot cable. So okay. But now you know. Actually, it might be a problem. Bearing was out of a conveyor system. Yeah. See, I know, I know stuff. Yeah, you do. That means I gotta pull this out, don't I? You guys will use yes. it for something? I'll well, pull this no. Out. You can leave that there, just rewrite it on the end. Unplug it down there, run it straight up, stuff yeah. it through the hole, you're set. It's not These make awesome ammo beads. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Pepper loves it. <laughs> you think I got a good shit on the floor? <laughs> you can get them to like resonate at different frequencies while you do that. See, now it's going to be in my head all day. Little, little xylophone. Ah. Hey, Ed, we got a project for you. <laughs> Ask me about anal xylophone. It's going to be a hoot. I don't even want to know that. I'm, I'm two minutes into today's video. I don't even want to know what the comments are like. Well, I'm going to throw me in here. I just hope that you guys aren't throwing away when I do this. What? You've been storing boxes in the recycling bin? No. Okay, because that ends bad. So, I thought of something. I actually should tell this to Moose. Hey Moose, can you come to the MDH real quick, please? If you guys need to start sending us food, because I'm having addicted to just whatever scraps I can get. Where are you from? I'm from Michigan now. He's learning there. He's learning there. <laughs> during the, the trash during the winter, so bad. Though, it got me through college. During the winter, the trash stays Wait, better. So, come here. Pay attention to this, because I'm going to need both of your brains. We generate a lot of specifically recyclable cardboard trash, right? Okay. And I dumpster dive it. And a lot of times when I'm dumpster diving, the dumpsters that I don't dive into say cardboard only. We've talked about this. Do they cost money? They did the last time. That's kind of dumb. They yeah. should be free because they they're making be. money on it. I know. Okay. Can you do some digging and see if we can get a free cardboard only recycling dumpster? Yes. Okay. So that'd make everyone's life easier. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, it would be. It'd make, everybody, it'd make you happy? It'd make her happy, it'd make me happy, and it would make his life suck. And that is like a win all around. No, it'd make him easier because then he knows where to go every time. Yeah! Uh, See, open. you'd have your own also, storage facility for cardboard boxes. Also, there won't be, you know, you know open can of food, cans of food on top of the cardboard. It's always a win. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's look into that. See? Okay. All right. That was my shower thought this morning. Uh, say, uh, we've looked that into was your it. shower thought? That was my shower thought. So I had somebody on the internet tell me I'm an anti-feminist. You're an anti-feminist? Yeah. Okay. Cool. She's an anti-feminist. 
Do you want to know my shower thought? What? No. No. I really, I just, no, no, no. <laughs> It's about the dream. Because if it was that thing you do with the floofy thing, no. I don't. I heard about. Yeah, this is not. No, I dreamt in words. I didn't okay. picture images. I pictured words like I was reading a book, but they were appearing as I was thinking them. Okay. Have you ever had that? Did you know? No. That in the fifties and sixties, they were doing surveys on children, and they realized that children who grew up for color television, but after television, specifically dreamt in black and white. That's fucked up. But it was just weird. I was dreaming in words. Okay. They're all spelt right, too. That's what really freaks me out. <laughs> you don't know how to spell. No, they were, I, I, anyway. Kind of? I, I know how to spell very well. Yeah? Actually. You're literate? Nikki can't spell. It. Oh. That's adorable. So the Mongols uh -huh. had no written language. They were entirely, like, illiterate. Right. Which yeah. wasn't a really big deal back then, but they were entirely illiterate. Because of this, because they had no written language, they didn't write their history down. So the history of the Mongols is written by everybody they fucked with. So the universe, like the entire history of the Mongols, all that we have since it was written by the other guys, right. is not, it, it's like, they're all horrible, ugly people. <laughs> well, the okay. verbal history of the Mongols is pretty solid. Okay. It had to be verbal, though, because... It was. When I was in high school, my history teacher, his favorite country in the entire world was Mongolia, so we had a two-month section on the history of Mongolia. God, the <laughs> thrillingness yeah. of your... Watch, watch okay. like the, the verbal... Just his verbal history. Every time he says something, the numbers slightly well, get that bigger. Was the yeah, it's that's the, verbal, the beauty of it. The verbal history of Mongolia has changed significantly from each part, but the change of the history became part of the history of Mongolia. They accepted this as a fault in their history. And I have science to back that shit up. Like for, for why mine gets that's, better. That's why I think like, I oh yeah, he lived, he lived for 900 years old and had 3,000 wives. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know that's true. It's in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. And I know it's true because it's in the Bible. And you know how I know the Bible's true? Because the Bible told me it's true. Circular logic works Cause, because circular cause, logic works. Because Ken Ham told me so. <laughs> oh, we're going to get great comments. I'm like five minutes into the blog and I've already got 500 comments by now. Between rectal xylophone, resonant frequency, and just shit. I can't win today. Did you honk the... No, because the fire truck has an anemic asthmatic horn, doesn't it? Yeah. And also Somebody I drove noticed... by in front with like a big truck horn. Oh, yeah, he was like, oh, yeah, fire yeah. truck. Uh, I didn't know if it was that guy or the bike guy. You don't remember the guy with the bike? Oh, the no, this is like a real truck. He waved. Oh. It was a semi. Okay. He was all like, yeah. Jackass. Because I noticed that the church was parking lot. Have you ever talked to him? The bike guy? The bike with all the horns? Guy. Yeah? He's weird. He's, 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 oh my God. He's weird, but he's cool. You. Oh, he, I've, I've heard his 45 minute diatribe on the government. <laughs> oh my god. He's, he's got opinions. Like, he's voting today. Yeah. Possibly seven or eight times, but he's voting today. I'm he's sure not of that. As interesting as flower personality. Guy. Oh, Flower Guy's hilarious. He's sweet though. He's, yeah. Well, they're both nice. Yeah, but Flower Guy's like charmingly batshit. <laughs> he's. <laughs> He always, whenever I'm out back, he always, hey, you got any cell phones? I like to tinker with those. <laughs> I saw him yesterday at the highway selling teddy bears. Yeah, that's his, up, up by the speedway. But he wasn't selling flowers, he was selling teddy bears. Teddy bears? It's whatever you oh. can dig out of the, you know, the thrift store dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he got shit from the flower shop across the street. I, he does. Yeah, yeah okay. I figured he got like weak old flowers and stuff and just sold them on the street corner. So, he's a cool guy. I like him. These are the people in your neighborhood. Hi! In your neighborhood. I no, I'm just rolling with Hard the Hard reset, people! Go <laughs> back to bed. It's gonna be like that the whole hey, fucking day. It's just right. gonna be like that. Hey, Batman, tell them what so what do you got going on? <sighs> yeah, that, that's your whole day, right I, there. I'm moving. Oh, yeah. Hey, Bowden. So a lot of people are freaking out. Oh, here, here. Because they're... You guys all know this, but the blog doesn't. I'm getting a lot of comments in the blog about, Oh, my God! Doogie's moving! Where is he going? It's actually really cool, and you guys need to know about this. We want to congratulate Doogie. Um, a few months ago, you might have read about how 
the space program thing was taking volunteers for people that wanted to go for a Mars mission. Doogie's it's it's like a one way ticket. One one way ticket. Doogie's number came up. He won the lotto on that, and Doogie gets to go to Mars. So this is really he's going off to He's training. Be the mechanic for Mars. And Does it's Pepper it's a whole thing. Go? I no Pepper doesn't get to go. God, they but wouldn't make a special but, suit. For yeah, him. but but Doogie's going to Mars, and we're very proud of him. So yes, we wanted to let everybody know that yes, Doogie is taking off. And he's going to Mars. It's going to be awesome. Mars. <laughs> All right. That's a, a terrifying dudes. thought. <laughs> yeah, so. that's pretty terrifying. <laughs> so now you know. We'll be back. So the internet, on account of your eight flavors of cute, noticed your arm yesterday. This arm. Okay. Okay. This <laughs> is what it really looks like. Now, what is that? This is um, Braille, a Braille font, and it says temporary. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Is it like race? Oh. No, it's ironic. It's like In the way. blog yesterday, you could only see a little bit of it. Okay. And when you look at the, the little bit of it, which is dumb because the person commenting was three flavors of a moron, <laughs> because you could, you could see the beginning, but not the, the back end. Okay. And if you cut off part of it and squint and stand on one leg, it looks like A T A N. So you were a Satan worshiper for 24 hours. Please, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of what I thought. I was like, "Wow, you're an idiot." But and I tried to make a really good Santa sure. joke, and I just couldn't come up with anything. But <laughs> yeah, but, I misspell Santa all the time. Yeah. So I, I was like, "I'll just go get a shot of it for the blog today." Well, thanks for uh, I'm, I'm that. here to help. Saving your reputation. Now the dog is a Satan worshiper. Totally. Yes. You're hardcore. Aren't you? Did you hear what happened to the dog? What happened to the dog? So you see the vacuum? Yeah. Sitting right there. There's a vacuum right there. So the dog looped herself around the vacuum. Okay. And then somebody came in and spooked the dog, so the dog ran and took the vacuum with her. Okay. And the vacuum, like, landed on the dog. Oh, God. So now the dog has been afraid to run because she's convinced that running makes the vacuum attack. <laughs> this is great, it isn't even on. Wait until I turn it on with the headlight and the roaring. <laughs> I may have to chase the dog around with a vacuum now. <sighs> Watch out. Kelly's the Satan worshiper. We're going to need to get more of those. All right, we'll get more. We have two boxes left that don't have tags. Oh, shit. All right, cool. Thank you, sir. Ooh. So it's time for a viewer mail training session. Yay. For the viewers out there. I don't know if you've noticed this, but on our website there is a form for you to fill out if you donate something to the Geek Group and mail it in. We can even include the link if you like. A lot of you use it, but not all of you use it. It makes these guys' life way easier if you fill out the form beforehand. That way we make sure you, we know your name, your address, and what you sent us. So when stuff comes in, the date that we received it, the donor name, the donor username. Sometimes you're only going to know one or the other, so I left a slot for both. Mm -hmm. Their mailing address, email address, and then filled out by, that means YouTube. Then circle if it's Amazon, other drop shipping, or if they sent in a box of their own stuff. Right. If they included the donor form because they are particularly awesome, just staple it to this form and that stop there. That's all you have to do. Mm -hmm. If they Amazon or dropship, take the form like this. We cut this part out and put it on the wall, but this part says what was donated. Staple it to this. Please still fill this out because we don't need all of the information necessarily that Amazon. But um, get a summary. And then if it's just stuff, fill it out item description in quantity. These are double-sided. It's going to be pretty rare that we need more than that, but we have extras for the regular donation to see if you need it. When this is done, it goes in the bottom left mail slot in the office, the red drawers. Okay. 
each one, each donation gets its own piece of paper. Like if one individual sends something on Amazon and it comes in six different boxes in one day, it can go on the same piece of paper. Right. But each day I expect you to have a little stack of papers and they go in the slot. Mm. There's 51 in here. Tell me when you need more. Jerry will have a copy. He can print out more. This is Between the two of you, this gets done every day for you. Any questions? So, Lemming, your box is right there. It came like five minutes ago, but it's 16, 19 hours. So we're not going to do your mail today. The FedEx guy I've never seen before. Yeah? Mm -hmm. He probably got lost, and that's why the box came in so late. Well, FedEx came earlier today. Okay, so, yeah, all right. The thing tomorrow is at 12. We're not going to go All right. Exactly what you need is right there. That's the greatest thing ever. Gonna do leave a lot of cleaning, but yeah, it would work. Well, there's like three of them there, but you just there's want two of one them of them, and that'll hold like three different projectors. You don't want two of them because the space seems to be far enough apart. We're gonna have to go like that between the two. Notebook on one shelf, the projector on the other. Rock the fuck out. Take them both. I will come back Enjoy and show you small. Okay. That was easy. Here to help. I'm a solutions provider. Tough touch. with the world. How's your awesomeness today? Nope. There is no awesomeness. inspiration could for this toy could have been. They might look a little similar. Hmm. If you had to pick a paleo artist who is like the most influential of all time for depictions of dinosaurs in popular culture, you could do a lot worse than Charles Knight. That's the guy? He also drew this awesome thing, which we figure doesn't exist. I think you're just like making up dinosaurs. Well, no, this what was... What is that, a Corgisaurus? No, um, it's an Agathal Agathalmus. Yeah? Uh -huh. Which might be synonymous or a, a junior synonym of Triceratops, but we don't have any cranial elements, so we can't say. This one was by Cope, whereas it basically all the other ceratopsids, including the group Ceratopsia, is Marsh. Honey, I'm home! Batman! Did you get the right stuff? Did they have the right stuff? Was it on the shelf right next to the wrong stuff? Okay. Uh, we'll be back. What? Look what I did. What did you did? Jerry and I made made magnet displays. Yay! Okay. So magnet displays in a gift shop. Yeah. Cool. We've done some serious gift shop overhauling today. Yeah. Look. What else did you do? There's like a whole jewelry display now. A jewelry dis display and the tote bags are all over there. Okay. And put price stickers on everything up over here. Cool. Now sell everything. Well, we've been selling a lot of it, which is why we decided to over. Okay, this is good. Also, today we printed 11 mugs. Okay, how many are sold already? They were all sold. Excellent. 
Keep selling them as fast as you can print them and we're set. We've been printing lots of chapter mugs. Good, I like chapter mugs. Me too. All right, I'm gonna get this sorted. Mm.